The political abuzz that started with the 10th General Convention of the main opposition CPN YML has continued as another political force, Rashtriya Prasadanta Party, billed as the party of royalists, is conducting its general convention to elect a new leadership. Following much upheaval since the restoration of democracy, Rashtriya Prasadanta Party has remained united for the past two years and seems committed to its dual agenda of ceremonial monarchy and Hindu state. Good morning, I'm Abhideh Shrestha, and these are the headlines of the hour. The government prohibits entry to Nepal for nationals from nine countries, including South Africa, concerning the risk of the spread of the Omicron variant. Voter points tightened. Election schedule made public for the ongoing general convention of Rashtriya Prasad of the party. Nepali Congress leaders reach a mindset of contesting elections individually with the increasing number of contestants in the fray. Germany announces a nationwide lockdown for the unvaccinated as its leaders back plans for mandatory vaccinations in the coming months. And Cristiano Ronaldo scores his 800th career goal before driving home a penalty winner as Manchester United come from behind to defeat Arsenal 3-2 in the English Premier League. Considering the risk of the spread of the Omicron variant, the government has prohibited entry to Nepal for nationals from nine countries, including South Africa. As per yesterday's cabinet decision, nationals from South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Namibia, Lesotho, Eswatini, Mozambique and Malawi and Hong Kong have been prohibited from entering Nepal from today. Travelers arriving through transit of these countries have also been denied entry into the country. Meanwhile, the Home Ministry has directed all concerned authorities to tighten border points with India amid the risk of the spread of the Omicron variant. Home Ministry spokesman Fadindra Mani Pokhrel informed that the government took the decision to curb the entry of infected individuals through the open border. The General Convention of Rashtriya Prasadantra Party is ongoing at Kathmandu's Prikuti Mandap. Election to choose a new leadership of the party is scheduled for tomorrow. A voter list with 4,471 voters has been published last night. The process to elect a new leadership of the party was hampered due to the dispute over the voter list in the closed session earlier yesterday. The registration of the candidates is scheduled from 11 this morning to 1 this afternoon. The final list of candidates is scheduled to be published this evening and the election will be held from tomorrow morning. 149 out of 199 Central Committee members will be elected through the voting process, while the rest of the 50 members will be nominated, nominated by the chairman. Kamal Thapa and Rajendra Lingden are contesting for the post of party chairman. Likewise, leaders Bikram Pandey, Buddhiman Tamang, Dilbikas Raj Bhandari, Ram Chandra Rai and Leela Shrestha have already announced their candidacy for the post of vice chairperson, while Dholam Shamsir Rana, Shyam Timilsina and Rekha Thapa have begun their campaign for General Secretary. Power consensus among leaders in Nepali Congress is unlikely to be forged as there are many aspirants for the presidency in the 14th General Convention of the party. Even as the leadership and Ramchandra Podil factions have been vying from ward-level conventions, more than two panels are likely to compete in the upcoming general convention, with leaders reportedly in a mindset to contest individually. We have more in this report. Both leadership and Ramchandra Podil factions have formed panels to vie at all levels of conventions so far for the upcoming 14th general convention of Nepali Congress. However, there are increasing numbers of aspirants who have already announced their candidacy for the party's top post, giving way to minimal chances for power consensus. The incumbent party president, Sher Bahadur Deuba, is looking for another round of tenure, while leader Bimalendra Nidhi, who was once in the leadership faction, has already announced his candidacy. Likewise, leader Gopal Manchrester is also looking for the top post. Meanwhile, senior leader Ramchandra Paudil, along with Shashank Koirala, Prakash Man Singh and Shekhar Koirala from the same panel are also aspirants for the post of party president. 
Leader Krishna Prasad Sitaula, who had formed a separate panel to vie for the post of the president in the 13th General Convention, is yet to make a decision regarding his candidacy for the new leadership. Meanwhile, leader Kalyan Gurung is also doing legworks to compete by forming a separate panel. Leaders thus have reached a mindset to compete individually as there is less chance for a consensus among several aspirants gunning for the key posts. In our public voice segment, we had asked people in several districts who should be responsible for the handover of leadership to the next generation. Let's take a look at what they had to say. युवा पुस्तकमें तैयार होने पर तब मात्रे संभव सा सर्वप्रथम तब पहला है मैं युवा हूँ और इस और रुपारो देख हाल कर विधान बनने पर चाहिए नेता है लेने चाहिए जिम्मेवार शीर्ष नेता ले साथ में सॉइल गोर्ड दिनों पर सा और इल्लू पुस्ता नहीं जिम्मेवार बॉय होने पर सा बहुत कोलो भी होने गए ना बहुत सेशंस Yesterday's cabinet meeting decided to recommend President Vidya Devi Bhandari to call both the sessions of the House on 14th of December later this month. The summoning of the House sessions at a time when legal practitioners have been demanding the resignation of Chief Justice Cholendra Samche Rana has been viewed as significant. It's time now for our segment Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. And here's the question. What's your take on the failure to implement the ruling by Securities Board of providing loan to share investors from brokers? Your options are A, trying to control, B, no ownership, and C, lack of seriousness. The voting is on. Type NEWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. And that's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.